What is up, Star Seeds? I'm Sid, and I am here in the first pair of pajamas I've owned since I was like, I don't know, eight, nine years old. Anyways, today or tonight, we are going to be talking about why religious people bless their food and why it's not weird and why it's, I don't know, like a well known thing that people all over the world in so many different cultures, religions, races, ethnicities, spiritual practices do. So blessing your food is charging it with energy. I've done a video on water manifestation and how to charge water. And I don't necessarily do it on a major level, like a major water ritual like I used to. Uh, I just do it simply every time I drink a sip of water I infuse it with good thoughts first or sometimes I will put some water uh, remineralizing orbs in my water and I drink that but anyways on the topic of food I try to eat mainly fruits and vegetables uh, and that's what I like to do but whenever I'm eating anything I really try to set the intention really whenever I do anything, but especially when I'm consuming things. If I'm watching something, whether that be a YouTube video, or if I'm listening to a song, which I don't do that often, or if, you know, I'm listening to a conversation people are having out in public, or what have you, I always set a positive intention, and when I eat, I do the same thing. So people bless their food, people say a blessing, before they eat, to usually show thanks, show appreciation, show gratitude, um, and really just to like set an intention of thankfulness, which is abundance, okay? And lately, I've had more encounters with Christian people. At family gatherings, we say blessings sometimes, which, you know, I've done a few times as a kid, but I've done it lately, and I'm like, oh, I get why we're doing this and like it's not weird it's actually you know for a nice little intention and at school I'm like a daycare preschool teacher and we sing a song before we eat we sing please and thank you uh and it's just a little catchy tune and the kids really like it and it sets this intention of thankfulness and gratitude and please and thank you before they eat and it's just kind of nice so I don't think blessing your food is weird. Uh, usually I do it just mentally and not out loud. And usually I don't, you know, include terms like God and all that. I just say, you know, like, I'm about to eat this food. Like, let's let's absorb the, the good nutrients. And, you know, thank you, universe. Thank you, me. And that's kind of what I say. Thank you to, you know, whoever you want to thank. Thank you to my family. Thank you to my friends. Thank you to, you know, everyone that I care about that I have interactions with. Blessing your food is really just uh, a manifestation technique. And it's it's pretty witchy. The blessing of food, the, the charging of food and nutrients and things that we are going to absorb and intake into our body. That's, that's a pagan, Wiccan, witchy thing to do that religions have caught on to and turned into like thanking God for your food, thanking Allah for your food, thanking whoever. But when I bless my food, I just kind of think to myself, you know, thank you abundant universe. And that's, that's my God, you know, the abundant universe. Uh, everyone is God. I am God. You are God. Everything you know, we eat and breathe is God. Everything we eliminate, uh, everything we consume and produce is God because everything is God. And when I say this to some people, specifically Christian people, when I say, you know, I think you are God, I think I am God, I think we all are God, they look at me like I'm like crazy and I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Because I'm planting the seed. If you don't bless your food all the time, 
Uh, I feel like even religious people don't bless their food when they have snacks. Maybe they do in their head. I don't know. I'm not trying to offend anybody. But usually it's like at dinner time. Uh, I personally try to bless my food whenever I think about it. I try to bless my water whenever I think about it. I don't not like the word bless. I just feel like it has this like religious connotation. It's used normally in a religious manner, I feel like. So I like charging or like infusing my food with good vibrations, infusing my water with good vibrations. And that's how I tend to refer to it. But refer to it however you want and just understand that your religious homies are infusing their food with good intentions before they eat it and they're setting, you know, a, a message of thankfulness. You know, they're setting it, they're sending it, they're receiving it, they're eating it, all that. That's all it is and it's pretty cool in my opinion. So, peace out. Happy Winter Solstice.